Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have some exciting news. I have not one, not two, but three new pets. And we're going to see them today. <laughs> Now this video isn't clickbait, but it's close to it. <laughs> you may be thinking, Taylor, you have a, you just had a baby. Why are you getting more pets? The thing is, I have the pet. Every time, every time. Coco! The thing is, I have these three pets, but they're not with me. I don't know where they are, but we're about to find out where they are now. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys probably one of my favorite partnerships that I have been doing lately, and it is from Wildlife Collections. Wildlife Collections is a company that partners with nonprofit organizations in order to educate, fund, help fund, and save animals. They partner with elephant and sea turtle conservative ships to create these bracelets that allow you to track a wild animal. When you buy one of these bracelets, obviously a portion of your money goes to the conservative ships in order to help these lovely animals that we can now track. <laughs> Actually, scratch that whole wildlife collections thing. I actually just forgot that they actually rebranded to follow. I get it. Wait. I just realized. Follow, follow, get it? <laughs> they created this name because we are following the animals that we purchase. Well, not purchase. We don't buy the animals, but we buy the bracelets that help us track the animals. So I want to get right on into this because I'm super excited to see where my animals are. So when you get your package of bracelets or a bracelet, whatever you choose to buy, I have three bracelets actually. I decided to support the polar bear mission and this is what the bracelet looks like. The sea turtle mission. Focus here. I feel like a beauty guru. <laughs> and then the elephant mission. So these are actually really pretty bracelets and I like how they have the animal on the front of them so you know which bracelet coordinates to which animal. I received my three cards in the mail of which animal animals that I have been selected to track. So these are my new pets. I've officially adopted them. First, we have Monolo, our elephant. I will read this little text here for you guys, but this is what he looks like. He is adorable, gets it from his mom. Monolo is a 40 year old male bull elephant who lives in Savo East National Park. I really hope I'm not butchering the name here. <laughs> His behavior is of particular interest because his home turf is the community area on the border of Kenya and Tanzania. He likes to spend most of his day in the reed beds, feeding and enjoying the cool waters. Given his close proximity to human population, Monolo is an extremely important bull elephant to monitor for any signs of human elephant conflict. So this is super interesting. And then it says, start tracking Monolo, open the camera on your phone, point at the QR code and click the pop-up. So we're gonna be doing that. So that is our little elephant guy. Well, he's not really little. <laughs> Next, we have Jim Jr. with a G. He is a female, she. <laughs> Jim Jr. is an adult female hawksbill sea turtle released by the Sea Turtle Conservancy, Conservancy, wait, with a satellite transmitter from the Tortuguero National Park in Costa Rica. She measured 87.3 centimeters in curved shell length and laid 152 eggs. So our girl is a mom. So I am a grandmom already at the age of 21. 
She's a little cutie though. You can see the tracker right there. <laughs> they slapped it right on her. All right. And now we have, Barbara was first sighted as an eight year old near Churchill, Manitoba with two cubs in tow. Since then she's raised at least five more cubs teaching all to navigate their sea ice home and hunt seals. We love her already. Recently, Barbara was spotted at 30 years old, an incredible age for a wild polar bear and a testament to her strength and intelligence. So this is her, I'm guessing, with her little babies. So I'm actually super excited to start this, so let's dive right on into this video. I want to see where my animals are. All right, let's first start with Monolo. I'm going to take my phone. I'm actually going to start screen recording. All right. Name Monolo, sex male, age 40 years. Monolo's movements. Oh, wow. He goes places. <laughs> oh, there's a video. We can watch Monolo. All right. He moves pretty fast within one day. He kind of moves in the same area, too. I, I want to see what day he took that journey up north. Let's skip ahead. Oh, so he slowly migrated up north. Oh, that's so funny. So around the baby's birthday, he decided to take that journey up there. And then August 1st, he just decided to take the whole hike up there. <laughs> okay, so hopefully they upload a more recent map, but I'm sure they will. Um, I'm pretty sure you can just keep scanning the QR code and finding updates on your little guy. Not little, I need to stop saying little because he's like 50 times my size. There he is, my baby. All right, Monolo, nice to meet ya. Okay, so Barbara is in the Hudson Bay. She's actually fairly close. She's right in Canada and I'm in Pennsylvania. So technically I could drive up there if I want to and see her. Hi, I'm Elisa McCall, the Director of Conservation Outreach and a Staff Scientist at Polar Bears International. And on behalf of our organization, I would like to thank you for supporting our partnership with Wildlife Collections. By purchasing a polar bear venture bracelet, you are helping support researchers who are studying the connection between polar bears and their sea ice home and helping observe what is already happening to polar bears who are experiencing sea ice loss in some areas of the Arctic. We hope that you've enjoyed tracking your polar bear over the last year across Canada's Hudson Bay, and I'd like to take this opportunity to give you a status on your tracker. So each summer, Hudson Bay completely melts and polar bears are forced to come on shore. Okay, well that's new to me because maybe I don't do my polar bear research, but a lot of like places and people make it seem like polar bears are only in the Antarctic, but I didn't even know that they're as close as Canada, which is literally like six hours away from me. Maybe like the border of it, six hours, not the actual like hole. <laughs> they find an area to hunker down in and they don't move very much at all for several months. At this time we do stop uploading public locations to the website but soon your bear will start moving again. Fall is here. The sea ice okay so that's good to know going based off of my last bracelet I guess they update it depending on um, where they're migrating to when they migrate how much they move and stuff so I'm assuming Monolo that last track was when he was most active and now he could possibly be in a form of hibernation. Do animals go into hibernation? No, animals do, but I don't know if elephants do. But some form of, I'm gonna rest now. Fall is here, the sea ice is refreezing soon, and soon the bears will start heading to the coast and getting ready to go on their next hunting adventure on Hudson Bay sea ice looking for seals. So soon we will again start updating your tracker, but in the meantime we hope that you continue to retrace your bear's journey from last year and that it helps you feel inspired to help us trans- Hey, so hopefully Barbara, I'll check back in a couple months and you will be already on your next adventure. Oh, this one, this one seems very promising. 
Oh look, he's recently updated. I think because they actually like have a tracker on him. It doesn't really look like in the pictures they placed a tracker on the other animals. Maybe the elephant. I doubt the polar bear. I'm pretty sure they would definitely find a way to take it off. So, Jim Jr., where are you? You are in the Half Moon Reefs right by the Nicaragua Rise. And to be honest, he's not so far too. I think the only one that's pretty far is the is Monolo, Mr. Monolo. He's in like a whole continent across the way, across the world. So these guys are pretty close. You know what? It would be interesting actually if Jim Jr., because he already looks like he's moving up north, came to the Atlantic Ocean, preferably the Jersey Shore, because that's the one I'm closest to, so I can meet him. But chances of that happening are very slim. So he was released on July 13th in 2021. He went down towards San Jose and then he decided to move north. And now he's making his way towards Cuba, it looks like. And I think it's gonna be really interesting to actually look back in a couple months to see where these animals ended up. And I really am having faith that Mr. Jim Jr. is gonna find his way up to the United States. I think he's claimed his territory for the most part. It seems like he likes this kind of area. And like I said previously at the top, it even says um, in partnership with Follow, previously called Wildlife Collections, 10% um, of the profits actually go to the Save the Turtles collection. So when you guys do buy one of these, you are actually helping out these wild animals, which is great. So not only do you kind of adopt them, you attract them and you help them. So I have to say I am pleased with my selection of animals and I'm very excited to see, well actually I could probably post an update video in the near future. If you guys are interested in tracking animal of your own and you would like to donate to a great cause, then I will leave a link down below of the website that you can go to myfollow.com and purchase one of the bracelets and I will also leave a discount code below for you guys. I believe it's a 20% discount. These bracelets don't really run pricey anyway, so they're actually really affordable. I definitely think it would be worth your money, especially because you're helping them out in a way and the bracelets are actually pretty stylish. You can pretty much wear them with any outfit because the colors are neutral. They do have different bracelets. The sea turtle one, they all come in different colors as well. The sea turtle one, it actually comes in a blue, the same color as the turtle, and that's the whole bracelet. And then a lot of them come in the color pink. Um, I think all of them pretty much have the same colors, but you have your choice of like neutral colors or you can go vibrant, whatever you choose. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and meeting the new additions to the family. I have unofficially, officially adopted these guys as my own. So we will see, we will see where these guys take us. So again, I will leave my discount code right here, taylorcrane20 and the link down below if you guys would like to purchase one. And if you guys do, definitely leave a comment down on this video to let me know which bracelet you purchased, what color, and what animal you have. Send me the QR code too, because I'll track your animal as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.